Welcome to today's high protein day people. So we're kicking off today's full day of eating with a very simple low calorie and high protein meal. So I had roughly 100 grams of egg whites, one whole egg and 50 grams of the smoked salmon. And egg whites, it's a simple way to just increase your protein intake for the day without having to eat loads of different foods. And you can obviously just get eggs and crack it and take the yolk out, but personally, I don't like throwing away yolks. It feels like I'm wasting food. I'd rather buy something like this, but it depends on your budget. So this meal comes up to 204 calories, 28.5 grams of protein, 9.5 grams of fat, and 1.5 grams of carbs. At times when I'm more hungry, I would have two whole eggs and I'd probably have about 150 grams of egg whites, which roughly would add Mm, probably about an extra 90 calories, but it makes it a lot more filling. Or if you wanted to, you could add a bagel or a toast or a wrap. But personally, I've been trying to have at least one of my meals in a day. Just kind of be somewhat low carb, just because I'm trying to get down to lean TJ modes. Anyways, I'll see you guys for the next meal. I want to eat something a little bit bigger. The only other thing I didn't show you guys, I did have one of my staple coffees. All right, folks, so the next meal of the day, as you can see, is steak. Typically, I don't normally have steak this early in the day, simply because it's something I normally have like as my last meal usually. But I've been staying at this steak since yesterday and I really wanted to have it. So anyways, what I'm gonna have it with is something very simple. My girl's basically been trying to make sure that I get my veggie as I get leaner. So she basically chops up varied uh, veg. She got like lettuce, tomatoes, cucumber, and I just basically, I'm gonna eat that with the veg. Technically, this is gonna make the second meal now with no carb. Typically, only one meal of my day do I have not really any carbs in the meal. But yeah, um, as for this, I'm not actually gonna track it because it's super low calorie. Like most of this box, I'd be surprised if the full thing here is anything more than 20 calories. So in regards to this meal here, this is the steak and the veg. I'm basically just only tracking the steaks, which comes up to 480 calories. So if you want to guess with the veg, just say roughly around 500 calories in total. I'm about to go buy some snacks, but I wanted to show you guys something that you guys should probably do if you get cravings like me. This one is in that bag, it's only apple tango, but what we do is anytime we buy any sort of snack that we can't control ourselves with, like binge worthy snacks, we put them in the boot of the car so we're less likely to go get them. So yeah, basically if you're someone like that, I'd highly recommend it. It will stop you like peeking out on like packs of crisps and biscuits in the house if you can't control yourself. It does sound a little bit extreme, but it saved me many times for many years. All right, folks, we are pulling up on the gym now. So what I've got with me is a frozen slush puppy tip top. These, well, we call them tip top in my area anyway. To make sure I'm fully accurate, I've went on my fitness pal. These roughly come up to four or five calories in case you want to track them. All right, workout done. Hey, put on the hoodie. Gonna sweat up the car. Overall, nice little workout. Ended off doing 30 minutes, not 30, 20 minutes on the treadmill, had to watch YouTube videos. So now I'm gonna go back, eat something fairly small. I did eat that protein bar, so I'm not really that hungry again. When it's hot, when it's warm like this, I really don't have an appetite. All right, peace, what is good? Next up, we're gonna have something really quick and simple because technically it's leftovers. As a fitness person, you're gonna find that you often probably have leftovers because when you're constantly cooking, there's gonna be some days when you got some leftover. So today, uh, what we've got, is a small amount of leftover minced meat so i'm gonna weigh that out and see how much that comes to and i'll likely have it with probably half a packet of these egg noodles so that will roughly be 180 calories for the noodles on its own all right so first off what i'm gonna do is get my scale also a big tip if you do get a weight scale always get the one that it also can go in minuses as well as plus for example say if i wanted to weigh something i could put the sauce on there first zero it out 
take the sauce out, use some and put the full packy back and it'll say minus 10 grams, so I know I've used 10 grams, rather than having to put a plate on there and do the opposite way around. Always get a scale that can work both ways, it just saves you a lot of time. So anyways, what I'm gonna do is for the cooked mince, I'm gonna put it on a plate quickly so I can roughly see how much she is. 70 grams of mince meat, cooked. So what I'm gonna also add, see as I have some, I've got chestnut, ugh, chestnut mushrooms. So I'm gonna take one and just chop it up and then probably mix it in there as well. By the way, mushrooms are also super low calorie, but I will track it just because I don't wanna make a habit of not showing you guys stuff. So just one of these things is roughly comes up to two calories. So I've just weighed to make sure each one is roughly around 23, 25 grams, which is two calories. So typically on a normal day, if you're someone watching, I wouldn't be hyper-focused if you're in a rush to track this. So most of it's really already warmed through. This is the benefit of obviously utilizing foods that are already cooked. Like not every single day do you have to make something brand new. For example, I don't typically like meal prepping, but if you meal prep, for example, that'd be a simple thing. You throw it in the pan and you get meals done in like minutes. Cause this has only been around six, seven minutes realistically if I went faffing with the camera. Uh, what I am gonna add, which is something I'm not massive fan of, but um, I'm trying to see if I like it which is this brand. I know a lot of you probably know it's the Eat Lean Cheese brand. I have bought it, I think maybe two times in my life. I don't think I've been a massive fan. It just doesn't seem to have that much flavor. Many of my subscribers on Instagram said to me, the best thing to do is mix it with like um, regular cheddar cheese, but like mix it. So it's kind of like you're getting the protein from this, but the flavor from the cheddar and it's like half and half, which, which makes sense. Um, but to be honest, I wouldn't mind just having regular cheese and just reduce my amount. But seeing as I have this, I'm gonna try it now. Let me just weigh it out. I could add tomato puree and make it a little bit more like, almost like a spaghetti bolognese. Okay, that's minus 20 grams. And in case you wondered, 20 grams of that cheese alone is 7.2 grams of protein, 0 0.6 grams of fat, and 0 0.4 grams of carbs and 34 calories, so it is pretty low. So macro-wise, that Eat Lean Cheese obviously is good. It's more a case of, personally, if it doesn't have that much taste by itself, I kind of don't see the massive point in using it. And it looks super see-through, it doesn't even look like cheese, it looks like sellotape, if I'm being completely honest. But it's melting here, which is good. And only one other thing I'm gonna add a tiny bit of is the tomato puree, because now I'm thinking about it in my head, I wouldn't mind having it semi-like spaghetti bolognese. The food is ready. Let's give it a taste to that, that eat lean cheese. It tastes okay. So I'm gonna add a little bit of sweet chili sauce. I'll try it again. Yeah, that makes it taste better to me. So this meal now, before I added the cheese, um, tomato puree and the sweet chili sauce, was roughly around 300 calories, so it's still pretty low. Now that I've added those things, it comes up to 363 calories and also comes up to 36 grams of protein, six grams of fat and 40 grams of carbs. Uh, I have noticed that so far for the day, actually I'm still pretty low on calories. My, my goal is still to reach around 2,500. I don't wanna drop the calories too low. One thing that I'm looking forward to trying is this.
All right, folks, at the next meal here, as you can see, it's a very, very, very full plate. Uh, my girlfriend cooked most of this, but I did try and track along. So this roughly comes up to 600 calories, 60 grams of protein, 20 grams of fat, and 42 grams of carbs. Technically, because I did want to bump up the calories to try and get in some more, I could have even had the chicken with the skin on, but to be honest, just generally, we skin the chicken in most scenarios. I think the only thing I didn't track properly, there's some spring onions and corn in there, but realistically, That'll probably maybe change the calories by like maybe an extra 40, 50 calories. The only thing now, which I'm gonna actually reference, because typically I would always, throughout the day, just drink squash. So just mix this with water, super low calorie. That's typically what I do day to day. However, often people say to me that they like drinking juice or drinks, what else can they have? Personally, um, obviously you can have zero calorie drinks, but I feel like if you get obsessed with having those too much, I do feel like when you drink them too much, I feel like it somewhat bloats you. It also makes you very puffy and gassy. So I'll probably say against it, but here are three that I would kind of recommend. Uh, so you got the Welch's uh, grape drinks and per 100 milliliters of these is roughly 20 calories. So in essence, this full thing is a liter. So in theory, if you were to drink one of these full things, it's 200 calories. So obviously the plan is not to drink a full carton of one of these, but the whole point is that if you did, 200 calories isn't that crazy. So that's kind of the guideline I try and go for. So per 100 mil, because he always says on the side, try and aim for it to be 20 calories and under. So for example, this one here, if she's actually my girl's, this is raspberry iced tea for 100 mils is 19 calories. Uh, another one, which probably isn't as sweet, but still not too bad, is the blueberry. Uh, this one is same again, when it comes to 100 milliliters, it comes up to 19 calories. So when it comes to like extra things that you don't necessarily need, but may like, I think 200 calories is a nice kind of boundary to kind of stay within. What is good people, the last thing of the day, we are having this. This is something that's meant to taste like Biscoff and I will say it actually kind of does. So each one of these little cereal balls is lightly dusted with um, like a Biscoff sort of taste. Obviously it's not brand name, this is from Aldi, but it does actually taste a little bit like it. I personally would recommend having it warm because I've just done it and it tastes great warm. And yes, I have warm cereal. I'm one of the very, very, very rare few that do this, but I've always had it this way. I feel like it really does bring out the taste of the Biscoff. Bear in mind, I had it with almond milk as well. So if you had it with whole milk or semi cream milk, it probably tastes even better. This is my first time trying it, so the fact that I've got used to it already with almond milk, I'll probably stick with this. In terms of the calories, the most cereal per 100 grams is around, say, 360, 370 calories. Per 100 gram, this is 430. So just bear that in mind. I wouldn't have it as probably your regular cereal unless you can make it fit. So the calories for this here, 220 calories, 3.2 grams of protein, 7.7 .7 grams of fat, and 32.9 grams of carbohydrates. If that was with regular milk, you're probably looking more around the 300 calorie marker. Personally, I would say go for the oatmeal milk, literally lower calorie and still tastes good. Now for the full day of calories now, it comes out to roughly just under 2,500 calories. But to be honest, based on the little things I didn't track, it probably is about 2,500 calories, which is what I kind of wanted to aim for. 208 grams of carbohydrates, 82 grams of fat, and 210 grams of protein. So that is where we're at, people. If you want to check out another full day of eating, be sure to click up here.